bit of a busy schedule for this one because not only do we have two games, we also have transfer deadline day. So, let's get into it. Hello everyone, Cam Bear Run here. Welcome back to FM24 with Chestfield FC. So, today we got games against Stevenage and Colchester. And we also have the January transfer window, which I do need to make a signing and I will uh, show you some of the other transfers. So the first transfer I should probably mention is that Armando Dobra is no longer with us. He has been shipped off to uh, Rodez AF for, for in France. But yeah, they're in Liga 2 for 55k. He wasn't really playing. He wasn't particularly very good when he did play. So I sold him off on the cheap. I also kind of broke the transfer record and the budget and everything to sign this guy. Camille Conte, poached from Grimsby for 325k, which was his release clause. We're paying him through the nose. He's basically one of our most important... He is one of our most important players because he is exceptional. Can basically play ball-winning midfielder. Plays more as a box-to-box, -box, but I'm using him as a ball-winning midfielder in defence because that's what I need. So the results have been okay. The last time you saw us, we were... Where were we? No, 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 no. We were against Carlisle. So we got a nice 3-1 win against Doncaster. That was fairly straightforward. We then we narrowly beat Salford in the FA Cup. They did score a goal late on to give us a bit of a scare. I kind of didn't really want to win that game because I don't want any more midweeks. So we smashed Sutton. They were poor anyway. We beat to, uh, Newport County with two goals from Bailey Hobson. And then we smashed Grimsby 4-0 because we had the best player in our team. And then we're finally out of the uh, Bristol Street Motors Cup. We lost on penalties to Portsmouth. It's a shame, actually, because we did very, very well. Scott Hogan doesn't seem to be able to fucking take a penalty anymore, which is really concerning. But Jamie Sterry, in the end, missed the uh, missed the all-important penalty. So we're going to go into the meet uh, We're going to go into the game against Stevenage. We owe them for drawing two two. We threw away a two 0 lead against them. Um, it's been going very very well. We are well clear at the top of the table. We still haven't lost a game. Touch wood. Yeah, this table is wooden. So, we are doing quite well. It's, you know, it, it, it's going fine. It could, you know, it couldn't, really, it couldn't really be going any better. We're basically the strongest team in the league at this point. Everybody's firing all cylinders. I just need to make sure we don't have any whoopsies, and I need, do need to make a signing on deadline day. But I'll explain that when we get there. We've been on a good run, so let's go and fucking win this game. <coughs> okay, so we've got the ball to start off with. I guess we must have kicked off. I was uh, doing something under the table. Don't, don't, wait, why did I never... I didn't say anything. It's a wee thing. All right. So we got a corner here. And that's... Well, that was a chance, but it was an easy catch for the goalkeeper. And he's a ball. Oh, yeah, we don't have Brennan. He contracted a virus. I don't know what he caught. But uh, he's very ill. He's recovering at home. So we've got Tom Dallinson instead. Before I mention, yeah, the the team is uh, Garrett, because I decided I might as well start him over on bank for once. Sterry, Dallinson, Saunders, Boyce, Conte, Wolof, King, Jackson, Hobson, Randall, and Cody. And I tell a lie about Garrett. I forgot to change the team around. Um, I forgot to change him in goal. So we've got Garrett rather than Conte. Uh, Garrett rather than on back. I'm talking shit. Eh. Uh, oh, I'm going to... Boys just basically hits one first time. Stereo, we do need to be careful with it because basically King and Shackleford got injured at the same time. So now I'm trying to deal with having only Stary. And it's not fun. Got to get more shots on target, guys. Oh, that's a good steal. And then, fucking, we waste it. Kaede should have ran with that ball. I mean, that's a foul, but all right. So 
somebody really should write a tackle there. And then, ooh, 20th goal for Coyote. Coyote, I think he's not even the top scorer. I think Aaron Sasso of Wimbledon is the top scorer. So, unfortunately, we've not got that... Uh, let's come a little closer. We've not got that uh, distinction. Actually, no, that's too close to the table. There we go. That's fine. And we are 1-0 up. That is excellent. It's picked up by Sterry. Hobson... And then Randall. Oh, that was poor. Keep all the ball, lads. Oh, I should also probably mention Jamie Grimes is retiring. Announced that he'll retire in the June, so. Oh, he's got... That's got to be a red, right? He's just gone through the back of, ja of Caden Jackson. Really, that's not a red. He's just gone through the back of his man there. Oh, for fuck's sake. Really? Ugh. Well, oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. No, no, that wasn't offside. Bullshit. Oh, come on. Jackson was the one offside. He's narrowly offside. That's why I didn't call it a 21st goal. All of this is, I feel, I have a horrible feeling all this is going to cost us. Ooh, that's a good pass. Can't get ahead on it. Get it down the line, and Hobson scores. Perfect. And it counts. 2 0 just before half time. Yeah, I'm not King Pistari. Alright. Problem is, nobody is fit, everybody is hurt. So. King is going to have to hang in there for 45 minutes. Don't die, idiot. <coughs> not playing well, though. To me, the defense is not really running at 7.0 because they haven't really had much to do. We've been very, very good in the midfield. Good catch by Garrett. Oh, come on. It's not what I need, because I need to save all Dacre for the midweek. You could you could stay where Wilhoff King was actually. Boys going on a run here. Gets it into Hobson. Gets it into Randall. Pulls out back to Conte and fires over. Okay, maybe shooting is a new strong point. Right, so uh, we've had to put Old Acre, Old Acre on there. Probably some point uh, replace Randall with Mandeville. Oh yeah, um, Jackson has also come in saying he's really unhappy. To be fair, he is meant to be a star player. Um, give him another couple of minutes. So I can understand why he's a little bit annoyed at not playing, but... He's 31, and he's been on the decline for a while. So, I'm not too fussed. Right, we'll put on Mandeville. We'll put on Bailey Clements. And we'll probably put on Sanders. Uh, Grimes for Sanders. Hoping it won't make us too defensively vulnerable. Otherwise, we could be in a bit of trouble. What? 
One day, Old Acre, you'll score a free kick. Maybe, if you're lucky, by the end of 2027. I mean, that was cute till fucking Jackson decided to pass it straight back. Should just shot at that point. Yeah, I don't think an injured king's going to take a very good... Yeah. Didn't think an injured king was going to take a very good corner there. All right, let's whip one into somebody's head. See, there you go. Easy GG. Look at that. Brilliant. Electronic. He's not going to make the header from there. But uh, this has been a good game, to be fair. I, I still think that it's weird. He had goal disallowed and he missed penalty. Still ends up with an 8.3 because he scores two goals. He could have had another He could have had another four goals if he'd have um, applied himself. Certainly would have had a hat-trick if he scored his pen. Uh, well, you can't get everything, I, think, I guess. But that's still a good 3-0 win. Well done, lads. That was a good win for us. Perfect. That pays the back for the 2 2 draw where we threw it away at 2 0. It's uh, all going on. Uh. So. Anyway. Say, so, I am going to join you guys for transfer deadline day, and I will outline what we need. Right. It is deadline day. I need to explain exactly what I need. So with the sale of Armando Dobra, I now only have three wingers. So unless I want to put Kane on the wings, Randall is going to have to work overtime, which is not fair on him. Especially we've still got some, uh, some midweek game still to go. So either I need to find another left winger... Or well, I need to find another attacking mid. That means I can shift Kane, uh, Jake Kane out to the wings. So, we have our scouting department. It's found a bunch of people who are basically out with injuries. Good job, lads. Fucking really, really, really good. We have... Look at some of them are saying Paoli. Jesus. We have a few others who are fitting into various other positions. But we do not have... Seemingly, anyone from where? Uh, now that is an option. Uh, do I do I want to spend another four hundred k? Having already spent, how much of the transfer budget do I actually have left? Where's the Where's the money situation? Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm gonna burn. I'm not gonna burn through too much of their finances. I must say. Um, I can bring in somebody on loan potentially, but I'd rather get somebody I'd play permanently. Um, that's not what I need. So, I'm just going to forward it a little bit. So, obviously, I also might use the uh, agent offers. Yeah, we, con people keep coming into Han Wilhoff King, but I want to uh, keep on to him. Because he's been excellent and he's starting to develop. He'll be very, very good for us, believe me. He's only 19. He's still coming into his own. He'll be very good. I want to take a chance, maybe. Same with George Lapsley. But then he doesn't really have... Okay. Okay. So I just leave Brennan, he's... Oh, Jesus Christ. That's not good. But then the inbox. What, what, what the fuck did he come down with? Anyway. Going to this... 
Because I can just check the scouting, really. Hmm. You play winger. But that's not really what I'm looking for. So not spending 30k on a surplus to requirements player. Now that would be useful, but too expensive. I could just I could just spend 200 k Go Vard Adoka and just have him as a backup for uh, Randall. Would be a good signing. But will that count? 15 goals and 68 appearances overall. Okay. I'm just looking. So... This kid. I'm not, I'm not breaking the bad transfer on a 21-year-old who doesn't need to be registered. Not a 21-year-old, he's only like two and a half stars. Oh, I'm not going to answer you. I mean, I can look for a loan. They did it. See, they will keep referring... Um, a lot of wingers. Scouting required. I can take a punt. And straight up sign him if I offer 40 to 5 to 50k. 22. Stats are a guess, but flair, anticipation, and off the ball looks good. Pace looks good. This guy's only really going to be a backup while I rotate in the midweek. So, ah, boy. We get him on loan to the end of the season. 100%. Oh, bugger that. It's on Premier League wages. No chance. Is that Dean Windass' kid? Uh. Ah, that's why. Because he's because he's previously played in the championship. He's not going to want to reduce his wage. I was looking at like six and a half grand. I'm not making him the like. He's probably going to be an incredible player, but I'm not fucking looking for an incredible player. I'm literally looking for somebody like can just fucking. Nope. I mean, yeah, I'm not going to spend like a shit ton of money on somebody that's going to be good, but I'm looking for a replacement. Essentially, Embleton. Yeah, that's shit. Okay, that's tempting, but he's probably dropped off a cliff. Just because it'd be funny, to be honest. Again, Josh Windass would want between five and a half to six and a half k a week. I'm not paying that. <sighs> Striker, but I would rather not. I'd be using him as a winger. I can take a punt on Odin Bailey. Sounds feasible. You'll be you will be rotating regularly with Joel Randall, so why don't we set the bar at 50k to start, 55k, with an added if after 20 fuck. 20 games, which you definitely get, 25k. Make an offer. And then I'm sure they will come back with a counter offer. Then that should cover me. Can we not go through all the fucking social feeds? Jesus Christ. Oh, that's cool. Eh. Oh, you will definitely be good. No unused substitute. I never do this. 
Oh, so I'm capping you two and a half. Eat shit. If he's three and a half stars when he comes in, he might overtake Bailey Hobson. I definitely bloody will. There we go. We got our man. Look at that. Right, now, thankfully, I've got the space on the squad. There we go. And assign squad number. Where are, where are you, Odin Bailey? There we go. Have to be 35, mate. I like how he's stressed. To be honest, it's not... You've not really got anything to worry about. He's going to be rotating, and a lot of it he's actually going to be replacing out on the left instead of Randall. You're not under threat. You are one of my best players right now. Don't you worry your pretty little head, Hobson. You'll be fine. But, well, depending on fitness. Yeah, we're going to... Uh, we're going to put Mandeville in. We're going to put Bailey, Odin Bailey in. I don't blame him for being concerned, to be fair. All right, yeah, wing. Oh, perfect. Oh, we've got a we got a live one, lads. He will be brilliant. Uh, Comley, and I think I need Aldaker as well. I need to do all of the chopping and changing for the uh, fact that I got a midweek game. So I'm gonna just skip straight ahead to the game against Colchester because I've got my man now. Is just sit through the rest of the six hours. I'll let you know if anything else happens. Anyway, give me a second. All right, it's time to face Colchester. So we got Ombang, Boys, Saunders, Dallinson, Sterry, Comley, Oldacre, Bailey, Kane, Mandeville, and Coyote. Odin Bailey was 80k, and he's supposed to be three and a half stars. Boy, he better be good. Shackleford and King still aren't fit, so we're going to just burn Sterry again. Christ, the amount of fucking games we've been playing is ridiculous, and we keep getting our right backs injured. If I don't end up playing fucking Clements at right back again, I'm going to do my nut. Probably slightly, like, slightly unnatural, like, slightly gain some level of competency from playing there. All right. We want to get a good result here because we should be able to beat these guys. Somebody get the ball, lads. I'll take it. All right, this is, this is the only... How does Dalton get booked in, like, two minutes? This is the only game that's played this week. Good tackle. Get that old acre there. I'm not entirely sure why he's the one that's got to do the running. Ah, nice try, but Kane wasn't really alert to it. Oh my god. Both. That's inside 10 minutes. Both of my centre backs are booked. Uh, we're going to make a quick change. Because I do not want to get anybody sent off. Don't do anything stupid, you two. I miss Brennan. Uh, okay, I don't know how he's done that, but he's done that. How did he do that? So Boyce gets the ball here. Because of Sanders and Foot like track, yeah. He just hits an absolute daisy cutter that goes to everybody and goes into the goal. To be fair, the keeper couldn't really see that. No, don't let them shoot. Don't let them shoot. Don't let them... Oh, thank God for that. The ref! No foul, okay. Ah, that's going to be on the... Yep. How's that not a foul in Sterry there? I've seen them giving them on the... On me. Ah. Good. That's really good from Sterry. Uh, barely has the shot, at least. 
He's looked lively so far. <laughs> Boys are taken inside his man with them and forced to go backwards. Damn it. Oh, come on. How are you all getting booked so much? Seriously, guys? You know, it's fine in a minute. Nobody spun to the fucking transfer budget. A fine will kill us. I know these guys are very financially healthy. I don't want to tank that. Let's take at least one off. And I think... Yeah, I'm going to put Hannah Wilhoff King on. Because otherwise we're going to have... Uh, somebody's going to get redded. That was a pointless light attack. Oh my god. These, you see, I told you, these midweek these mid games are fucking killing us. Absolutely getting fucking ruined. Good. Hobson. Oh, for God's sake. Keeper just got about got to touch it. Grimes has got it. Oof. Right. Going to make my last two changes. Yes, I don't have a keeper on the bench because my keeper is my backup keeper is in a half. Uh. Who else is seriously tired? Bailey. Right. Jackson gonna have to come on. It was an okay debut from Odin Bailey. Nothing too special. So I've got I've got such good fullbacks, man. Rep, rep, that's got got to be a penalty. Now see if Hogan can actually score a penalty. Or will be all league you're taking. No, it's Hogan. And yep, yeah, that's the third penalty he's missed now. He can't score penalties anymore. He's completely gone. Oh, the ball's going to everybody in Jackson's picked it up. Hobson's free and Hobson scores. Perfect. That was excellent. King Ben had full fitness by the weekend, otherwise I'm in fucking trouble. Oh, Grimes should have done better there. Come on. Got to knack at some of the players, though, because we've literally just got no one else. Well, that's annoying. And you do need to check, because I think they've changed their formation a bit. Yeah. 
Yeah, they've changed their formation to 4-4-2. So let's actually put the instructions on for the rest of the game so that we don't end up scoring this over. Because I don't really want to lose this. Lose this lead. It's, I like this lead. It's nice. Shiny. Be a good game away from... It's a good midweek draw away from home. Now watch them... So now watch them score before I can put on the uh, instructions. Good catch by Ombang. Oh, Grimes is booked now as well. How many is it to get a booking before you get fined again? Oh, for God's sake. Jesus Hogan. Look at that, he's on a 6.1. Good look. And Sterry is dead. But Sterry's just off the field. Something's happened to him. Can we have the whistle, please? There we go. Christ, this is getting fucking painful. I have, I have a feeling we're going to have... Um... <sighs> okay. That's fine. That's not so bad. But look, look at that fucking injury list. Yeah, to be honest, I'm probably going to play um, Grimes and Dallinson in the next game. I think I don't have a choice. Because everybody else is fucking knackered. Uh, I'll have to see where I am by that point. Can he also play right... Yeah, he can do the, he can do the same thing either side. So what's probably a good idea is that for the next game, because it'd be funny, uh, I can... Uh, Joel Randall and Bailey, see what we can do. Uh, King should be back to fitness by then. So we will come back... Where are we? We are in the beginning of February. So if I play the whole of February, we'll come back for Walsall and we'll do the return fixture against Swindon as well. So I think that'll be quite fun, actually. Actually, let's make a crew in Walsall just so we don't do two. Yeah, because I've already done two. We did Stevenage already, so why don't I come back and do crew in Walsall? Two teams that we haven't put on camera yet. So I'll do Mansfield. Yeah, games and we'll do crew in Walsall. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this, feel free to leave a like. If you want to see more, you can always subscribe. I've been Canberra Run, and thank you for watching.